Welcome everyone to part three of Music Medic's five-part series on removing dents from a saxophone. My name is Rich. And I'm Ryan. Today we're gonna to be going over how to remove dents from a saxophone bow. Let's get started. First, let's talk anatomy. In parts one and two, we covered removing dents in the bell and bell flare. Today we'll focus on removing dents from the saxophone bow. This notably vulnerable area of the saxophone, which is susceptible to dents, starts at the bow to body band and goes all the way to the bell. Today, we're gonna to show you three methods for removing dents from the bow. The extent and location of the dent will determine which method is best. And whether or not you need to disassemble the bow from the body. Number one, the standard push method using a dent ball. Number two, the rebound method, a two-person task using a dent barrel and hammer. And three, the Magnetic Dent Removal System, or MDRS. Method one, the push method. We're gonna need a vise, preferably affixed to the floor. A three-quarter inch dent rod. A way to hold the dent rod in the vise. And a dent ball. Let's start with the dent on the front of the bow next to the bell. Just like in part one of this series, we're going to roll from the edge of the dent to the center. Use straight arms, Use your whole body to push and roll that dent out. Again, I'm rolling from the edge of the dent to the center. And then I start from the other side, again, going towards the center. When a dent in this area includes the bow guard, it will require considerably more force because the brass is double stacked. That, in addition to the solder, means you're dealing with multiple layers of thickness. So that's our first method using the dent ball and rod. Now let's talk about method two, the rebound method. This is a two-person task where we can remove dents from those harder reach places in the bow, for example, next to a guard tab or underneath an E-flat tone hole. For method two, we'll use all the aforementioned tools, except instead of a dent ball, we'll use a dent barrel. As well as a regular steel hammer, or a dead blow hammer. Let's say we have a dent just underneath the E-flat tone hole. We can perform this removal without disassembling the bow from the body. Remember to extend the rod from the vise to ensure full clearance from the vise to the top of the body. Thread on your dent barrel, then adjust the rod so the slot faces down. The slot is there to allow easy passage around the octave pip, but we want it facing down since we're using the rounded edge of the barrel as our working area. Go ahead and slide the saxophone over the rod and position the barrel under the dent. The other important thing to remember here is to allow clearance around the neck receiver. Make sure you're not pushing down on the neck receiver or making any contact with the rod. You just kind of want it floating there. So now we'll find that high spot with the barrel as your assistant drops the hammer. We've covered removing dents using both the ball and rod method and the rebound method. But what about a dent in an area of the bow that's impossible to reach with our rod? Say we have a dent in this area, just below the inside curve of the bow. Method three, the Magnetic Dent Removal System, or MDRS. The MDRS uses rare earth magnets and is available from Music Medic through the link in the description below. Our kits come with an assortment of different sized chrome steel balls, flat and radial faced magnetic handles, and a spray wax lubricant, and mylar disc, which you'll use to protect the finish of the instrument. When working with dents on a curved surface of the horn, the flat faced handle would be the wrong choice for this job. In this case, we would want to use the curved face or the radial axial handle to prevent marring or scratching of the bow. Now, with a dent like this, we could potentially take it out with our ball and rod, but we would of course have to heat the solder and disassemble the bow from the body to do so. Depending on factors like budget, time, and how you want to pick and choose your battles, the MDRS provides a time-saving alternative to the task of disassembling and reassembling the instrument. First, make sure to clean the inside and the outside of the bow. Next, you'll spray the outer surface with the wax lubricant. We'll then place our completely smooth chrome steel ball inside the bell. To further protect the finish, as well as the surface of your tool, place a piece of plastic, 
drum head, or in this case a mylar disc in between the instrument and the tool. We include this mylar disc in this kit for this purpose. Once you make contact with the magnet, you'll basically erase the dent while pulling up on the magnet. Use a sturdy table with a soft surface to brace the instrument while you work the tool over the other side of the instrument. Bonus tip, remember we have this bow guard that doubles or triples the thickness of the metal you're working. To help prevent making more dents, when you go to remove the magnet from the instrument, you can bring the handle over to the guard area and roll the magnet off the instrument. So that covers the three methods for removing dents from a saxophone bow. The standard ball and rod method, the two-person rebound method, and the MDRS. Which, as we saw, is an excellent and time-saving solution for those hard-to-reach areas of the bow. Thanks, Ryan. That concludes part three of our five-part series on removing dents from a saxophone. We'll leave a link in the description to the tools we use today. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel and check out our next video in this series, Removing Dents from a Saxophone's Body. And until next time, happy repairing.